Hey guys, Tom here from Crypto Busy, and in today's video, we're going to dive straight into what's happening with Bitcoin, the price action, some potential trades you can be taking, and my updated price predictions for 2022, and a lot more. So stay tuned and certainly watch to the very end. Now, when you type in Bitcoin on Google for today, it's not looking good. And that is because of the Federal Reserve. They're intervening um, with the stock market. And the stock market is closely uh, correlated to what happens with Bitcoin. Uh, tech stocks as well haven't done today as well. And that is also when Bitcoin doesn't do well. Um, people in Wall Street do see Bitcoin as a tech stock in a way. So whenever tech stocks don't do well, they short Bitcoin at the same time. And that is not a good sign for us. But the good thing is, is that it's outside of the crypto. Uh, crypt sphere outside of the bitcoin sphere so that is really good to see um and so it's not something that's directly correlated or directly within a cryptocurrency so that is important so the fundamentals right now are much better than the technicals and what is significant is that there's a bit of a divergence happening with the fundamentals of Bitcoin, the further adoption with El Salvador adopting, with Tonga now going to be adopting as well, Turkey potentially adopting as well, and then on top of that with Brazil, allocating 1% of their uh, cash reserves into Bitcoin, and you can get 10% off your tax bill uh, with, with Bitcoin as well. That's another rumor that's coming out of Brazil. So some really good adoptions happening out there that should affect the price positively. That should bring Bitcoin to $100,000 for this year, which I think is still possible with the way things are going. Going, but this is a knee-jerk reaction for Bitcoin's price action. And that is something to be aware of when it comes to uh, Bitcoin's price action. As you can see, the bears have had full control over Bitcoin's price ever since $69,000 back in November, early November of 2021. And they've had full control all the way up until $39,000. Now, I think the bottom is fairly in for the time being. I think the bears are exhausted. I think we are overextended in this bear cycle, this mini bear cycle within the bull cycle that we're seeing right now. So um, you could call this a bear market within the bull cycle. That is still possible to see that. And I do think we're still in a bull cycle because we haven't seen the end of this. We haven't seen the that defining moment that has sort of put the nail on the coffin for Bitcoin for the next two years. And then on top of that, so the way things are going with Bitcoin's price is that in terms of cycles in the past, we're seeing a decoupling from the cycles in the past with the data. So as you can see, from 2015 to 2017, when Bitcoin was doing really well, Q4 of the year was the time when Bitcoin did really well. We saw that repeated in 2020. We thought, okay, 2021 will be the same because we see the price action from 2015 to 2017. And that wasn't the case. And we're still seeing these good price actions happening for Bitcoin and also for Ethereum. We're seeing a bit of a difference in Ethereum's price. Noteworthy is um, November of 2021 with Bitcoin minus 7%. But if you look at November for 2021 for Ethereum, it is positive 8%. So a bit of a decoupling happening there as well. So that that is also significant when it comes to the cycles and the way that uh, money flows in and out of the crypto market. And again, with further adoption as well. So with any sort of swing trades and, and day trades that I'm doing right now, I'm out of the market. I'm waiting for some key levels to be hit. If we do see $38,000, if we see $37,500, I'll be putting a buy order specifically around the sort of areas. Um, if we see uh, Bitcoin go to $46,000 tomorrow, then I'll be putting a sell order around sort of $45,000 because again, a volatility, and that's not good to see as well in sort of a short space of time. You want to see the volatility all over a longer uh, period of time, but not in sort of a short space of time because it, it shows the sign of a of an asset that is immature and you need to wait for that uh, asset to mature and that is also part of it as well bitcoin is young it is immature it needs to have that regulation that good regulation not regulation for the sake of regulation you know cryptos are getting smashed again according to jim which is which is true bitcoin under thirty nine thousand dollars, ethereum under 2.9k and the lowest level since august and september respectively so that is also something to be aware of guys Personally, if you're a long-term investor, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. I'll be picking up some more Bitcoin anytime now because I'm dollar cost averaging into the positions. But I'm, again, sort of staying out of the market for the time being, not because of the price action, because if you look at the chart, you may be think, saying, well, I'm just going to go straight in. Uh, and, and you may be right up to the point, but when it comes to the fundamentals happening outside of the crypto sphere, that is a lot of, you know, you know, not a good stuff that's happening with the Federal Reserve, with the way that the stock market is going for the time being. So I'm just waiting for things to cool off. Wait for next week as well, because the stock market closes on the weekend crypto is 24 7 365 that's fine um, but just sort of wait and see uh, for the markets to cool off and, and I, I would personally wait until monday to go back into any sort of day trades for bitcoin specifically so that is something to be aware of guys now um do comment down below whether you agree whether you disagree with me we're very interested to hear what you guys have to say i do want to bring your attention to verve which is interactive streaming um and also it's reimagined here as well so 
this is coming out on the market today i believe we've worked closely with the team it's got a great team great white paper and also uh, some great features so in order to discuss with these you guys is the future of interactive uh, content it is now fully here it is fully decentralized of course uh, it's giving power back to the creators which is also super important and um, you know the, the fees uh, that are taken on the platform are not coming out of the uh, creator's income which is also significant as well so as the creator you have the power you have all the tools in front of you to create some engaging contents which are hopefully this content here is engaging for you guys as well um and also there's nft clipping uh, tool for your you know iconic uh, moments of course and so nfts are super important they are sort of you know, images for the time being but they will evolve into some form of moving images that's going to be really cool to see with nfts and since being fueled by the uh, the vlas network all transactions um, like donations on NFT purchases are nearly instant, secure, and all, of course, ultra low fee. Um, so the IDO is with um, the BSC pad, so Binance Smart Chain, and then also with the um, you know, uh, Cardano pad as well, the NFT launch, Game Zone, and also many more. Um, and it's really good to see. So you can check out all their, their socials. It's linked down in the description below. You can check out their websites, of course, and that is super important. And so the initial uh, market cap will be around sort of $200,000, and the launch date will be happening uh, today so that's really good to see guys so that's it for me in today's video guys with the verve if we look into what's happening with um, again the price action is looking fairly good and then on top of that we just got to wait for these key levels to be hit um long-term investor you know i i'm sort of uh you know looking into what's happening on the long term i'm still bullish again the adoption curve that's super important to be aware of when it comes to these sort of things so take that into account but short term just wait for the market to just cool off for the time being do comment down below any thoughts and opinions that you may have. I'd be very interested to hear what you guys have to say. Any feedback is very much welcome. And on top of that, if you did like the video, make sure to leave a like. And if you're new and you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to Create a Busy today. And so that's it for me in today's video, guys. My name's been Tom, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.